Hello, I am Olivier Guillemin. I am artistic and trend director for APLF and also chairman of the French Committee of the Color and general secretary of Intercolor. Uh, I have the pleasure to present you today the APLF Color and Material Trends for Winter 2022-23. Winter 2022-23, that the world after, intensifies with its surprise and energetic, humanistic or eco-responsible project. By freeing ourselves from our current fears and anguishes, collective construction and partnerships stimulate strength as well as creative freedom. In a synergy between the intelligence of nature and human intelligence, colors glorify innovative ideas and celebrate styles that defy the seasons. Materials amplify the ecstatic and the extraordinary, sometimes bordering of madness, in a dichotomy between technology and craftsmanship, rough mineral and a research for tactile sensual effect. So we will have four stories, four topics in this season. Our future, our nature, our daily life, our liberty. So the first story is our future. For a positive energy, we talk about futurism, but it is also the archaeology of the future with positive polarity, innovation, transcendence. The sport, new sport for artificial dreams, experience, movement, clinical, and strange inspiration. A range with extra earth origins that evoke a poetic future of biopastel and subtle celestial nostril that undergo special effect and clinical reflection. For material, it's a game of texture, hands, and transparencies. The second topic, power nature, emotional energy. This topic refers to Terra Nova, precious life, urban and savage nature for a new casual style. A mix of organic and tactile, the art of making becomes essential with craft, equilibrium, ethical, explorer, to value imperfections. The colors are inspired by an enchanted, extravagant nature, a range enhanced by the greenish and bluish tones. Tactile, organic, biodegradable, enveloping, eco-responsible eco materials. The third topic, our daily lives for a comfortable energy. A reassuring theme which evokes urban comfort, indoor-outdoor, simplicity and discreet luxury, rustic elegance and classic chic, sobriety. Peaceful afternoon harmony where fantasy neutrals amplify sensation by becoming more tangible. Basic and mineral tones take odd color to impose a subtle natural mood. Classic elegant material that evoke comfort. And the last story is our liberty, emancipated energy, everyday glamour in sport culture, virtual divinus, real versus virtual, digital live and intuitive tech, fun and play, radical joy, adrenaline, psychedelic baroque and neopop are the key words. A flamboyant radical contrast, contrasted palette that teleports us into a festive, optimistic, dreamy world between the real and the virtual. The spirit of material can be summarized so fun and tech. Thank you, Olivier. Hello, my name is Guillaume Mistoso. I'm trans consultant for APLF. It's my pleasure to present the material trends for winter 2022. So today I'll be breaking down the trends by, by story. And so let's start with our first theme, which is our future. This is a story about positive energy. And as Olivier explained earlier, 
We are working here with a very, very subtle color palette made up of pastels and neutrals, except for a vibrant splash of energizing yellow. So the materials range from the very smooth to the very textured and from the very natural and organic, such as leather, to more modern materials such as nylon, neoprene, vinyl, and lurex. So what types of leather do we have in this story? So first, there's the leather that is matte and smooth to the touch. This would normally be oil tan, veg tan, or flat plate grain leathers. Then there are the fluid drapey skins, usually skins like lamb skin or calf skin, which are much thinner than cowhide, and other leathers that offer a flattering drape. For exotics, natural or genuine python is the top choice for this story. Next is quilted leather, as the Italian company La Cucina has been developing and producing in the past few years. Next, we have dip dyed or dipped leather lambskin, which creates the perfect leather for jackets because of its very soft, buttery texture. And with dip dyeing, there's the possibility of creating unique color effects. Heated leather. Now it can be used for garments, bags, and upholstery and gives off a very, very expensive vibe. For non-leather materials, coming up strong for the season are the ultra shiny quilted nylons that is ideal for the puffer jackets or coats. We are seeing a lot more of the big quilting effect on the jackets lately, not so much the traditional smaller square quilting. So bold quilting is, is the key. Then we have the Lurex fabrics, preferably pleated as well. They have a shimmery metallic appearance since the yarn is made from synthetic film and this is vaporized with metallic aluminum, silver, or gold layers. And finally, still pushing the tra transparency trend that has been strong for the last few years, we have the transparent acrylic or PVC that is for use in bags, shoes, among other things. Now let's move on to our second theme, which we call Our Nature, which is about the emotional energy that we get from life and beauty that surrounds us. This is the more casual story and looks to organic, sustainable materials. Colors are taken from the greens and blues of nature, but seemingly brightened by the sunlight. Since this is a sustainable story, we look for vegetable tanned or metal-free leathers. Made leather, also pull-up leather, will be in demand as they very well answer the call for products that are natural and real. So this, is, this shows all the surface of the skin. You should also be on the lookout for embossed leathers bearing a variety of nature motifs. We also have fish skins, particularly the piruku leather, which is the green one on the left of your screens, which is from Nova Cairo, Brazil. And uh, of course, the, all the other fish skins like salmon and cod and all of these things. No? Shearling. So for winter, 
the warmth of a shearing jacket or coat, it, this never has really gone out of style. It will always be there. So we'll see more shearing in the winter of 2022. Vegetable prints or motifs on leather. So they'll, this would be a, a continuing trend within a continuing nature trend on, on leather. But at the same time, you'll be seeing a lot of graphic and abstract prints. And now for uh, non-leather materials, interest is high again for corduroy fabric, which was, of course, very, very popular in the 60s and 70s. And uh, it's now seeing a strong revival. And the ridged or ribbed uh, corduroy pattern is, can also be simulated uh, in leather. Then in our first story, we saw the trend for the ultra shiny quilt, quilted nylon jackets. In this, our nature th story, on the other hand, the forecast is for the wax down jacket quilting, either in nylon or, or even leather. We now come to our third theme, which is called Our Daily Lives. And this is the more urban story one of sophistication and luxury, yet grounded by a classic simplicity and a rustic, almost country chic. So we see subtle, half-toned, gray-tinged colors against amplified neutrals as well as mineral tones. So materials are classic and elegant, including leather, woolens, and cashmere. So let's take a look at the kinds of leather for this story. First, we have the natural grain or full grain leather. This is leather which has not been sanded or buffed or snuffed as opposed to the corrected grain leather. So this is displaying the more natural characteristics of the leathers. In contrast, we have the very smooth leather that, his, that has been sanded down and buffed that it is completely smooth with hardly any texture at all. Then there is suede with a very soft, silky nap. In terms of exotics, for this story, it will go for lizard skin. So lizard skin may not be as popular as the cocoa or the alligator or python but it is a very versatile material that is thinner than most of the reptile skins. So it makes it easier to work with and it takes to dye very, very well. Then we have shagreen or stingray leather. Shagreen being an exotic leather is quite expensive. So we can work with shagreen textured leather as well as in the photo on the right. Another finish to leather that is forecasted to gain popularity in winter 2022 is the soft sheen. It's a very, very subtle hint of shimmer in the leather. Then of course, there's the Safiano, which is the signature leather finish from, from Prada. And or on the other hand, there is the caviar, which is synonymous with Chanel. And this was popularized by, popularized by Chanel with their classic 255 or, or the classic flap bag. In this story, special focus is given to classic patterns such as tartan, plaid, checks, or houndstooth, be it used in leather, in wool, and other fabrics.
And what could be more classic and natural than cashmere, which is always perfect for any winter? So now let's go on to our final theme, which is our liberty. And this is the story of freedom and emancipation, particularly that we, we connote it to our lives today. This is freedom from the from the pandemic, hopefully. And, and now, and hopefully we'll have the time to have fun and to party. So for this, colors are bright and intense. Leathers are shiny, tactile and saturated with color. And at the same time, you'll see a lot of synthetics and technical high performance materials. So, this time we bring out the very smooth and shiny leather. And double face leather. We can have such combinations as leather and wool, leather and mesh, apart from the usual on two-sided leather. Blue book, very fine colors or bright colors. And similarly colored python or snake skin. So whether it's the real python or real snake skin, or it can just be uh, printed on, on leather. This is also the story that goes for patent leather, which gives off clearly a very, very cool party vibe and very perfect for this energy story. And leather in this story comes in very intense, very vibrant hues that will make, that will make anyone stand out in a club for sure. And then you can also have the leather with a very lacy effect, which is very dramatic, very sophisticated. And the mood gets even more festive with very bright, long-haired, fake fur. And finally, we have iridescent satin for those very glamorous evenings out in the town. So I think that's one story that's quite going through a lot of the four stories, which is a lot of shimmer. And so there you have it. That was the leather and material trends forecast for winter 2022. Thank you for joining us and hope you have a good day. Bye.